one so I finally finished the body and got it mounted on my C10 uh, Frankenstein build chassis and I think it come out looking awesome I think you're gonna love how it looks but before I reveal it I'm gonna let past TJ show you what's in this box and everything when I got it and a couple updates and we'll be right back so take it away past TJ. hi everyone so great news the body i ordered is here it's the gmc pickup it's 124 scale but it should fit or at least be pretty close and the reason i went for that is because the 120th scale jeep grand cherokee i was looking at someone uh sniped that before i could get the money to get it so yeah, we'll open that and see how it lines up and everything here in a second. So before that, someone in the comments asked me about the drive line. And with these shocks, even at full extension, the drive line stays in just fine. And that's on mine, which has been lengthened. It should work fine on a stock one too. If not, look in the box. There's a drive line piece included. You can cut that to the length you need. And then you can just use that for your drive shaft. That's basically what I did the length in this. So another question I got asked is Charisma shocks versus these. Well, that's a little bit of a toss up. These have much better dampening, but they don't get quite as much flex. Let's see if I can show you here. So the C10, there's stiff springs on it. So I'm going to hold this back tire. That's maxed out and that's pushing it. Without actually holding it, I get about that with these springs. I lift it up, I can get a little bit more. And the deadbolt, with these uh, dual barrel shocks, however you want to put it, I get that much flex. And that's not quite maxed out. If I max it out, I get about that. So if you want major flex, the uh, double barrel shocks are your best bet for that. If you want more flex, but not crazy amounts, and you want good dampening, the Charisma shocks work great for that. So that's that for this. Now I'm gonna open up this body right here, or model kit, and we'll see what the wheelbase looks like. Let's open this up. Sorry, a little awkward on camera. All right. So here's the tires. And they're actually pretty decent size versus what's on the C10. So, looks like the body's right here on top. At least the first part of the body. Got to find the bed in there too. Also, sorry about my audio. I can't do a whole lot about that. Because we live right by a street and the wind kind of cuts my voice off here and there. Sorry, I'm just struggling with the packaging. So I got the body out and you can see that's lined up on the front tire and then the side panel here. It's pretty dang close. I might have to adjust the wheelbase a tiny bit, but that won't be hard to do. So yeah, I'm going to get this put together, painted and figure out how I'm going to mount it on here. It's probably going to be the same color as the Orlando Hunter because that's really the only paints I have right now. And most of the hobby stores around me are sold out on all that stuff where they don't have very good colors left. Quick little update while I'm working on the body and everything. I thought I'd show you progress so far. And so far it's coming out pretty good. You can see here's the first part of the body. Everything's all painted. And then I've got the bed. It's all separate. Fenders. I'm not going to cut out the little footsteps here because that's just a pain and you glue a chrome piece on there that'll probably just fall off anyways. 
got bumpers. We got the little dude out of my C10 body, the lights out of my C10 body. I got the gun rack painted. And then I got a few decals on here. It's kind of hard to see it on camera. Especially with the lighting in here. It's kind of raining outside, so I don't want to get this all wet because I still have to apply these. Yeah, I'm going to put the camo on there. This is going to be a bit of a pain. So I'm not doing this on camera, but once I get it, all of this on there, I'm going to go over it with some semi-gloss clear coat. And that should keep the uh, decals on there. Here's the interior so far. Looks good. There's even a little chrome CB radio in there. So it's coming along pretty good. Okay, so thank you, that. Past TJ, and I'll take it from here. So underneath here, you can see how it looks. I think it come out great. The body's sitting nice and low. It's got all the little details. I'll go around here. Show you the interior. Sorry, the tripod's getting in the way. Around the back, the electronics are actually in the uh, bed here. But I do plan on getting an Orlando Hunter ESC because right there behind the bench seat, it'll fit in there and a micro receiver. I have yet to put the uh, brass tubing on the rear links because I'm still kind of sorting the wheelbase. I wanted it a little long in the rear because that's kind of how my grandpa got big tires on his old, uh, what was it, a 76 Ford F-150, I believe, factory high boy. So he had got the rear axle to sit back and cut that part of his fender off, which this doesn't seem like it'll need. It doesn't hit. And that's because I limited the suspension on purpose. So yeah, that's the gist of this. Now before we go, I'll give you a little bit better look at it up close like this without me bouncing the camera around. The body's held on with magnets, but I'm not going to take it off because the wiring and everything goes through the bed. And then inside the interior one more time. I got a little glue on the window putting the rear view mirror on, but can't really help that. There's the gun rack in there. You see all the details in there. And on the back window. And I'm going to plug it in and show you that I did in fact put the lights off the C10 in this body. So there you go, there's the tail lights. And it's got the uh, headlights too. So that's the end of this update. The SEX24 is looking awesome. I'm just as curious as you are of how well it does running and everything with the hard body on it. So I'll get a run video up here very soon. First I gotta clean up a few more leaves on the course and then I'll be good to go. So until then, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you know when I upload. Talk to y'all later, TTFN.